Hi, hello. I'm the junior manager here at the Red Bull. I'm supposed to walk you through the job as our new security guard. From your resume, I can tell that you're already a well-experienced guard. But, you know, it's protocol, so I have to walk you through the basics anyway. So, let's get started. We have security cameras all around the restaurant. And if you bring up a camera panel, you'll be able to view the feed from each camera by pressing the camera buttons on the menu. Now, our lights are always on during the night. Obviously, because it'd be a waste of power to leave them on all night. So to actually see something on the camera, you can activate the camera system's night vision mode. You activate night vision by clicking on the button of whatever camera you're currently viewing. So for example, say you want to see what's on camera 1. You bring up the camera panel, you click on the button that says cam 01, and then to use night vision, you click on cam 01 again. Once night vision is activated, you can click on any of the other cameras and view them with night vision as well. And you turn it off the same way you turn it on. Now, night vision takes more power than regular vision, so make sure you use it sparingly. Your first priority as a security guard here is to keep an eye on the animatronics. Those are really expensive machines, and we do not want them stolen. And you keep an eye on them through the cameras. We have quite a few animatronics here at Candy's. There's of course the cats Candy and Cindy, there's Chester the Chimpanzee, there's the penguins, just lots I tell you. Uh, so, you also have three security doors in the office, each of which can be closed by pressing the door button by each door. These are here in case you're in some sort of danger, but personally I just use them to shut myself off from the world when I need a break. But don't let me be a role model on that one. You need to remember that closing these doors takes power, and the longer they're closed, the more power they drain. Now, I know that sounds kind of backwards, but you have to trust me on that one. I think it's something about the doors having an automatic fail-safe feature in case the power gets cut off, you know, so they open up if there's no more power. All I know for sure is that they do use more and more power the longer they're closed, so you don't want to keep them closed for too long at a time. Now, uh, the reason I keep mentioning the power is because the restaurant uses a backup power generator at night, which only has a certain amount of juice in it. So anything from viewing the cameras to using the security doors takes power. You can see how much power you have left in the computer on the desk in front of you. Try not to run out of power. If you do, though, you won't be stuck in the office since the doors will always open up anyway. Oh, and uh, one last thing. The animatronics aren't completely turned off at night, so they might start walking around a bit. But just be careful not to let any of them into the office, because we have stuff in there we don't want damaged or anything. Though, don't bother with the ticket booth door. They won't attempt to get in through there. That should be all. You'll hear from me again on your next shift. Have a good night.
message. Hey there. I uh, put up a note today to gather some intel on the animatronics from the other employees. Uh, just to get a list of the um, issues we've had with them. They've written down some stuff here for you. So uh, let's see. Alright, so obviously the animatronics walk around at night. You know that by now. Um, they try to get to places they shouldn't be. Uh-huh, yep. They act weird after dark. Yep. They don't like adults. Hmm. I mean, I suppose. They always seem nice around children. Around us employees, they just kind of stare at you. I always thought they just hadn't been coded to interact with anyone other than children. But some of the other employees have felt threatened by them now and then. But I know that some of them are also superstitious morons. So who knows if they just became scared when the animatronic looked at them in the eyes or something. Anyway, one last thing on the list here. The last penguin interferes with the system. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Uh, we have these penguin animatronics as waiters. Uh, they take people's orders and whatnot. We used to have three of them, but two of them broke down and haven't been fixed yet. I think they're referring to the third penguin that still works, or well, apparently it doesn't quite work. So yeah, definitely don't let him into the office. His presence alone could probably destroy our systems. Well, that'll be it for now. I'll be sure to leave another message for your next shift.
connected. Still here, I see. Awesome job these last two nights. You're already way better than our previous night guard. He didn't even stand two nights before he brought a wrench to his shift and tried to destroy one of our animatronics. The animatronic in question is the plate character, uh, the one in the drawing room on uh, camera 11, I think. Yeah, I'm surprised he still works. And despite the holes and the fact that his left arm and the back of his head is missing, the kids still really like him. Anyway, ever since that day, Blank's been acting almost more strange than the other animatronics. Like, among other things, he seems to have developed this fascination with getting into the office through the ticket booth. And I guess he can't see the glass or something. So yeah, uh, keep an eye on him. If you see him heading for the ticket booth, just shut the door in his face, and then he'll find something else to do, I guess. Oh, and uh, by the way, ever since that new Freddy Fazbear's pizza closed last week, we've been getting more and more customers during the day. So next week, if you're up for it, we could use you on the day shift. Think it over. We'll talk later.
so real quick, um, we had an old animatronic version of Candy uh, but before we got these new shiny ones. Anyway, uh, he was supposed to be out of commission ever since he was involved in this incident with a customer. Uh, an adult customer, luckily. Not, not a child. Not, not, not that the children are safe here, that, that's not what I... Anyway, our technician has tried to fix him up for some time, and he wants me to warn you that he might start walking around as well. He should be in parts and service, that's uh, camera 10 I believe. Keep a real good eye on him, he's quite big, so just be careful around him. That's all, um, keep up on the good work. Oh, and I heard you took the day shift offer. Nice.
new messages. Hello again. So, the big boss man told me to inform you about our off-limit areas. Uh, I know that sounds kind of silly since you're supposed to be guarding the place, but the manager is adamant that we don't go where we're not supposed to. He's mostly talking about the rooms that aren't on your little uh, mini-map. They aren't on the map because it apparently isn't any of your business. Or ours, for that sake. Like that extra room next to the part and service room. I believe you can see the door from camera 9. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Here, keep the change. Excuse the sound of my delicious latte. Uh, anyway, the manager says it's just a storage room, but I've of course heard many stories from my superstitious colleagues. So it's either an extra kitchen, a staircase to a secret underground tunnel, or it's where he puts his bowling equipment because he doesn't want his wife to know he's still bowling. Of course, I don't believe it's anything special, to be honest. I overheard him talking about the room once. He mentioned something about some old, unused stuff. Maybe he's hiding a smile in it. Who knows? Yeah, 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 sweetie. I'll get <laughs> Anyway, I am all out of time. See you next week.